Hey everyone, it's Joel on the road here again, and I'm in the ancient Roman settlement of Augustus Emeritus, which these days is known as Merida, and it's in southwestern Spain. There's a whole bunch of ancient Roman ruins here. They've been on the World Heritage List since 1993, uh, and I'm really excited to have a look. So let's get moving. This is the ancient Roman Colosseum of Merida. And look at it, how beautiful is this? It's designed to be a smaller replica of the one in Rome. And this one holds about 20,000 spectators. It was used for gladiator fights, uh, man on beast, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's really well preserved and I'm super impressed. cool is this. We're right next door to the amphitheater that we've just seen and this is now the theater. It's modeled after the one in Rome. It's very similar to the one in Pompeii. It's got a seating capacity of around 6,000 people and just look at how well preserved the stage and the proscenium arches. There's statues up there, original marble columns, inscriptions, the works. It is absolutely stunning. Now behind me, you can see the ruined Roman circus of Merida. It's 400 metres long, it's 60 metres across, and in its heyday, it would have held 30,000 spectators, which is absolutely remarkable. I can't believe how much of this building is still here. It was constructed uh, around the turn of the millennium, probably about 20 BC, and it was, uh, this is where they have you know, horse racing and games and chariots and all that kind of thing. If you've seen Ben-Hur, you know exactly the sort of stuff that happened here. Behind me, you can see the Temple of Diana, which I don't really know why it's called that, because it's actually a temple to Augustus. Uh, it was a, the center of the town that was here, uh, and it was this temple itself dates from 25 BC. A lot of important stuff was done here, public meetings, elections, all that kind of thing. Uh, and it's, just, it's, it's really well preserved actually, it looks, it looks beautiful and I'm really impressed. So behind me you can see Los Milagros Aqueduct, which dates from the founding of the city in 25 BC. It was built to carry water about 30 kilometers out of town. There is an ancient dam out there uh, in the middle of town just over here. Uh, it's Los Milagros translates as the miracle in Spanish and it's known as that because it's a miracle that it's still standing. It's lasted 2,000 years and wow, how cool is that? Overall, I've just been so impressed with Merida. Everything's really well preserved and they, the government seems very intent on keeping it that way. They don't seem to take their world heritage status for granted. There's a lot of great information here. It's all in three languages. Um, it's very clear where to go and what to do and what to see. So I would absolutely 110% recommend coming here if you're interested in Roman history. It's fascinating.